What's up guys and welcome back to another video. Season of Mastery is in beta right now on the client. If you want to know how to get into it, you just go right onto your client, hit the drop down, select Season of Mastery Beta and install it right there. Just a heads up to add-ons are working. The only add-on that I haven't got to work with the beta so far is LVUI. So we jumped into the beta and uh, I just want you guys to see how popular this actually is. Uh, there is a lot of people on the beta right now. I went to almost every single starting zone and they are packed. You can't even do the beginning quest because so many people have jumped into this beta and uh, you know this just goes to show there's a lot of hype around this. So let's take a look at these starting zones right now. As you guys can see, these starting areas are completely packed with people. There's a lot of hype surrounding this and everyone wants this to come out. I'm really not too sure um, about what we're, we're testing actually. Uh, I'm not sure why they wouldn't just say, hey, in two weeks we're launching Season of Mastery, uh, whatever. It does look like the XP is a, a buff. The XP increase is a buff uh, that everyone has. Right now it's 25%, which I think is pretty cool, but the buff is only towards quests not for killing mobs so you can't grind 25 percent faster it's just for questing which is pretty cool because that kind of deters the mage boosting as well uh if that was a 25 percent xp increase towards killing mobs uh mage boosting would be even more popular uh they have talked a little bit about implementing some things to get rid of mage boosting and stuff like that we haven't heard anything on it yet but we're keeping our eyes peeled what i would like to see uh, in Season of Mastery, and these are my own thoughts and opinions. I have no issue with the XP boost, uh, simply because with a faster release of content coming, we want to be able to level a little bit quicker, uh, and honestly, we might even want some higher, uh, gear, uh, not drop chances of gear on bosses, but maybe they should drop, uh, one or two more pieces of gear, since phases will only be lasting two months. That's just my opinion, but I think it makes sense. Um, so w the first thing I want to go over here is that I think, personally, this will be successful in its own way regardless, but I think for this to actually be super successful, um, we need either Burning Crusade or Wrath of the Lich King talents and abilities. Uh, you know, especially Wrath, it's when most of the classes got fleshed out, uh, you know, Ret Pallies are viable, Almost, it feels like in TBC and Wrath, uh, you know, every class and every spec has some sort of a purpose and there, there's nothing that's a true meme spec like in vanilla um and you know with the removal of world buffs those meme specs will be even more meme spec like ret pallies will literally do no damage enhancement shamans will literally do nothing it's worse than a meme spec at that point um and i agree with taking the world buffs out um but anyway yeah we, we, we getting burning crusade and wrath of the lich king talents would be a huge step in the right direction so hopefully blizzard you know messes around with this beta and analyzes some data and is like, you know what, we they're changing a lot of things already. Why not just flesh out the classes and let everyone play whatever spec they want? And, and you know, that's not too close to retail, in my opinion. A lot of people are saying, oh, then it's going to just be retail 2.0. I do not think so. I think if we keep the classic era, um, you know, go through these phases, make classes viable, make all specs viable in some way, I think it'll actually help the game, especially at the end after Nax if we come out with some new content. Anyway, going down my list, some new things that I want to see, speaking about that, I want to see some new endgame content, such as dungeons, raids, maybe arenas, or raided battlegrounds. I think that would be really cool to add some new high-level dungeons, uh, you know, some new content as far as raids, like Scarlet Citadel and things like that after Nax Ramus. I really do think this would be uh, pretty much a pillar for creating new content for WoW Classic. Uh, I, I, I don't really see retail being successful after this year. I think this is going to be the new World of Warcraft, and uh, I think from here, after Nax, we need to just get new content, new dungeons, new gear sets, 
all that kind of stuff. Uh, maybe even some new end game zones with maybe some dailies and new reputations where you can farm some mounts and things like that. Similar to TBC and Wrath of the Lich King, but add it to vanilla era. There's plenty of room to add some new zones and things like that. So I don't see why we wouldn't add that in the future after Naxxramas or even in between these phases, add some new content. Obviously we want some new armor sets and new models. That would be awesome too. Uh, having some really cool things, not copy and pasted with a different color, uh, but new armor sets, new models, obviously with new content, dungeons and raids, maybe dailies, uh, we need some new armor in the game, maybe things past Nax, maybe things pre Nax, whatever it may be, I do think we need something new there, it'll get people excited and it will feel like pretty much a new version of Vanilla WoW. This one's pretty important, I think that Blizzard should implement a polling system so that the community can vote on content updates, just like Old School RuneScape. When Old School RuneScape uh, is coming out with new content, they poll the community with a few different ideas, they take the majority vote, and that is the content they add to the game. I think this would be extremely beneficial if Blizzard did it. Uh, it, it would mean that the majority of the player base is happy and getting what they want, and uh, no unwanted content that's not fun would be added into the game if people don't vote for it. So I think this is a massive thing that would be a huge, huge thing. It would be, it would make such a major impact on the development of this game and the success of it in the long run. I also think that with the new phenomenon of playing hardcore, uh, which Cargaz has, has, you know, done for the community, it, there is a serious following for that and people do enjoy it. I think Blizzard would benefit greatly by implementing a couple hardcore servers into uh, Vanilla WoW, you know, with the add-on basically built in and some trackers and maybe some leaderboards and people can do it seasonally, like on 12-month rotations or whatever it may be. I do think that Blizzard would benefit greatly by adding this into the actual live servers uh, platforms, you know, without having to do add-ons or, or tracking it externally or recording your gameplay or streaming. Uh, just have servers that are like literally tracked with leaderboards that you can view in like all major cities and all that. I think there would be a huge community that would pretty much play just for that. Uh, so I really think that that would be a pretty good idea. Yeah, tracking features so that you don't need an add-on. Um, you know, the having to record or stream to have a verified run, it would be really nice if people didn't have to do that. Um, and maybe some seasonal rewards like titles, mounts, armor sets, maybe like a cool elite border around your, your portrait in-game uh, for, for doing a hardcore run. That would be really cool. Um, and I think that if Blizzard implemented that, it would be a huge success. But yeah, th those are some of the changes that I hope to see in Season of Mastery, guys. I'm pretty pumped to play, I really am. TBC is getting a little stale for me and I don't like Retail WoW. Um, been playing a little bit of New World, not a huge fan. It doesn't grab my attention uh, like WoW does. So I'm really, really looking forward to Season of Mastery dropping. I hope it comes out soon, to be honest. There's really not much to test. Uh, so I hope that this just drops soon and uh, we can jump right in and start playing and streaming and making videos and all that good stuff. I will be putting out a series on every single class and what I think uh, will be the turnout for these classes performance in Season of Mastery with the removal of world buffs like you know that DPS meter is gonna look a little bit different mages are gonna do a little more damage hunters are gonna do a little more damage warlocks are gonna be up there so you know I don't think we're gonna be seeing raids stack you know 20 fury warriors uh, for speed clears as much as we did in original vanilla with the removal of world buffs but that's a topic for another video. I will be putting out videos for each and every class saying what I think they will be like in Season of Mastery, so look out for that, guys. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Turn on those post notifications so you don't miss the next time I post a video. Until next time, take care.